Hello dear gamers, Yorkfield here and today we are back for the episode 9 of Tokyo School Raifu. So in the 8th episode, the previous one, I remember we went on a date in Harajuku, Tokyo and she literally became a maid. That's all I can say about the 8th episode because otherwise there wasn't much going on. So yeah, let's just get straight into the episode 9. <laughs> I bought it. Mom's gonna be mad. I bought clothes I'll never wear again. Karin drops her head in disappointment with a big bag dangling from her hand. In the end, Karin brought the entire outfit she tried on. It seemed like the price was pretty high, so she timidly pulled out a credit card. That was probably money she wasn't supposed to use so easily. You won't wear it again? What a waste. I couldn't wear this in public. Well, I guess I can wear it alone in my room, so maybe it's okay? Man, no fair keeping it all to yourself. Show me too. Kadin sticks out her tongue at me. <laughs> her tongue. <laughs> well, but I guess I should thank you, Yorkfield. Thanks for today. Thanks to you, I had a lot of fun. When I see Karin's smile, my heart skips a beat. Man, this smell is just too much. Today, when she was surrounded by all those sweet Lalta fans, she had such a natural smile. It was the cutest smiles I've ever seen Karin have. Karin said cute things don't suit her. I guess I can see how that would be common opinion. But I don't really agree with it. I think for Karin, cute style probably works for her too. I keep thinking about that as I observe Karin in such a good mood on the way home. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. Oh, message again. How'd it go today, Karin-chan? Man, I'm really tired. So how was your date with Yorkville, son? Huh? Date? Deto? Huh? Deto? Yeah, this is literally English right here. Yes. Who went on a date with, though? You went on a date with Yorkville, son, to Harajuku today, didn't you, Karin-san? Did you have fun? But what? No, it wasn't a date. I just took him around for a little sightseeing. In Japanese, we usually call a date when adolescent boy and girl go out together, right? Adolescent? What year is it again? Maybe my word choice was a little antiquated. Well, anyway, yeah, I guess so. A date isn't really such a big deal, but... Um, why can't it be a date? Um, I've never really considered going out with a guy, so it was just a little shocking to hear. Even though you're an idol? Idols aren't allowed to date. Don't say that you have to be in love to be able to sing about love, though. I don't care. I'm in love with cuteness, so I know enough about love. What the hell? She just said that she's in love with cuteness, even though she told me... Cute things don't suit me! I don't know what's going on here, though. So, how was the date? Okay, listen to this. He really doesn't care about what other people think, so he was driving me bonkers. Sounds like typical Yorkfield. He kept on telling me how cute I am. If you say it so much, it makes me it makes the word sound so cheap, right? Yorkfield says that a lot. Yeah, so I told him if he keeps repeating himself, he's it's got no meaning anymore. However, I think that it's preferable to men who misunderstand by thinking that their feelings are conveyed more honestly by not using words. Yeah, but he just goes away overboard. He could be a little more refined about it, you know. Haha. Uh -huh. What? Karin-san, you're enjoying this, aren't you? Yeah, it seems like you had a good time today. Hey, stop patronizing me. Quit it already. Oh my god. Mornings for the Karate Do Club are early. 
It's 5 a.m. We awake at, as the sun rises and run 10 kilometers around the shrine. After we return, we start with stretches. In order to avoid injury, we're careful to leave time to loosen up our muscles. Next, it's time for strength training. Push-ups, sit-ups, squats, and that kind of stuff. All that was nothing but the warm-up. Now, when's the real karate practice begins? At this point, I'm already breathing pretty heavily, but the real hell begins now. I was practicing her karate kata as usual. A form of a form or kata is what they call a collection of offensive and defensive moves flowing together into a routine for practicing. It seems like there's many different kata, and Aoi practices a different one for every day. I was really surprised that the movements for each one are totally different. Aoi's kata are very beautiful. She doesn't use any unnecessary strength and moves so naturally, it almost feels like I'm watching him dance. Hey Yorkfield, don't worry about what I'm doing. It's making your own practice sloppy. I'm sorry, Aoi. I told you, when you're practicing, call- Oh, I remember that. I was gonna call her Shishu. I remember that. Os, Shishu, Os. On the other hand, I just keep doing the same boring practice again and again. A one right straight punch. One right front kick while stepping forward. One left straight punch. One left front kick while stepping forward. I keep using nothing but the most basic moves while slowly moving forward like this. This dull repetition is simply called basic practice. I gradually advance along the pebbles of the grounds of the shrine while doing my moves. When I get to the end, I turn and repeat the same moves again. I'm just repeating nothing but the same thing again and again. This practice is so dull, yet it's extremely tiring. Sweat drips from my face like a waterfall. This, this is raw. And on top of that, your feel, your shoulder is raised. I always push down my shoulder with an amount of force that doesn't exactly suit her petite stature. Os. When she lowers my posture, my body naturally takes a bent position, making me flex stomach muscles that I don't normally use. Just standing like this is difficult. Okay, keep it up just like that, without resting. Os, Shisho, Os. I will keep it up, Os. Ayo is really strict in her Shisho mode. It's like the normal kind of sweet Ayo is just alive. Like, BAM! Like you're gonna spread yourself out over the earth. Yeah, lower, stronger. Hi! Hi! Well, keep. While feeling tired to the brink of falling over, I continue to force my body to keep moving on. Okay, practicing karate with Aoi. <laughs> or Shisho, should I say. Alright, that's all for today. Yorkfield, good work. Are you okay? Was it too harsh? Yeah, that was literally me speaking English. <laughs> this much is nothing to me. I'll be fine if you were hard on me. Really, though, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Since I've come this far, I just gotta have willpower. I'm definitely gonna say this, though. True. I thought you'd give up right away. But. You're a boy after after all Yorkfield. Yes, I am a boy. Since she normally acts like this, it just makes it even more frustrating. Yorkfield, you are always help with washing the dishes. Throwing out the trash and lots of other work, work at the dormitory, and it's so so helpful to me. That's just not rural to do for your family. Um, 
ちゃんにはあまり無理させたくないしカリンちゃんは仕事が忙しかったりしてねウェル I don't want Sakura ちゃんと over exert herself and カリンちゃん is so busy with w a r k e just use me as you see fit as you see fit そんな働き者にご褒美をあげよう前新宿に遊びに行きたいって言ってたよね僕が案内してあげるよ So, as thanks for your hard work, I'll give you a reward. You said earlier you wanted, to see, you wanted to see Shinjuku, right? I'll show you around. What? Really? Nani? Sugoi desu ne! ところで君はどうして新宿に遊びに行きたいのかな By the way, Yorkfield, why do you want to go to Shinjuku? I want to see Kiara Buchiku. Bukichu, sorry. Kiara Bukichu. So, t h a ゲームに出てくる街の名前だったよね。キャラブキチョウ、that's the name of a setting in a video game, right? Yeah, that's it. I saw it in a Yakuza video game I played. The Yakuza Chivalry Code or Kivalry Code, I don't know. Called, called Ninkyo and their Yakuza Spirit, it's so cool. I always stares at me, uh oh. Nani? Uh-uh, なんでもないよ。それじゃあ朝ごはん食べて片付けたらお出かけしよう Oh, it's nothing. Okay, let's eat breakfast and clean up and then go out. Okay, I give up on speaking English before now in this video. We're here, Shinjuku. Shinjuku is the home to the Tokyo government office. Lots of train lines meet at the giant terminal here, and Shinjuku itself is the location of many giant offices. And it's a big business district, making it a hub where many people go- come and go. And most of all, Shinjuku is home to Japan's greatest entertainment district. Back in my country, I played a video game about the Japanese mafia, aka the Yakuza. It was set in a place called Kiarabukichu. Yakuza have set unique rules based on duty and empathy. Sometimes they have to make unreasonable choices, even though it won't benefit them. That conflict is so cool and awesome. The headquarters of the Yakuza is Kerabukchu, where the city glows with neon lights and li-、uh, lights at night. I always wanted to see it for myself. So, Kerabukchu is a model of the city, but it's a very good thing. So, it's a very good thing. I think I know where that Kerabukchu is modeled after. The, there are many Yakuza in Shinjuku these days. NANI? No way. Oh, sorry, I didn't think you'd actually be upset by that. Well, I kinda had that feeling. Games and reality are different, but damn. But still, the city has lots of charm to it. I'm sure it's just as good as, as in the game. Okay, then let's just go straight to Kiarabukchu. でもちょっとまだ時間早いんだよねあの辺の本番は夜からだから You really cheer up fast Hmm, but it's still pretty early That area really gets started at night <laughs> Okay Oh, now that you mention it Even in the game, it was shown mostly at night with neon lights sparkling 適当にその辺で遊んで時間潰そっかどこ行こうか How about we just kill some time around and here until then? Where do you want to go? I'll leave it up to you, Aoi. Okay, we are in Shinjuku with Aoi now. <laughs> Visiting Tokyo with the,、uh, the three girls. Aoi guides me to a big game center, which is what they call video game arcades in Japan. Inside, lots of big arcade machines are lined up. The sound of all the video games being played gets me heated up. Yeah! I just throw me this at the most Sophia. Kimi wa telebi game wa umai ho? York Field, are you good at the video games? Well, back home I was pretty ex- experienced. I don't know how to say it in English. Aoi, do you wanna play versus in some sing? Sure, sounds fun.、Hmm. Gambling games, fighting games, or all. 
I always stopped in her tracks. She's looking at the crane game machines. Wow, amazing. There's tons of well-made figures and stuffed animals. The prices are really high quality. Inside of one of the machines, there's a stuffed animal, of Iowa's favorite animal, a tanuki. Ah yeah, the animal here, where the mouse is. And I was thinking that it was a fat dog. <laughs> I remember from the previous episode. Ayui, you want that? <laughs> oh nah, not really. It's just I thought it's kinda cute. <laughs> okay, she has a tanuki on her hair, but she doesn't want one, okay. I always a a bad liar? Ayui, let's go versus on this. We'll take turns. And the first one to get it wins. If you're okay with that, then I accept. But I'm warning you, I am pretty good. Well, I played this quite a bit back home too. We do a coin toss as, and Ayoi gets to go first. I watch over her nervously. Ayui has good reflexes, she might even be able to get it in one shot. Game start! Again, literally English. Game start! Ayui puts on a coin and starts the game. The way a crane game works is simple. You put in a coin and the buttons light up. While you hold the first button, the crane moves to the side. When you hold the next button, the arm moves to the back. When you let go, the arm stops in place, and if you position it right, you can pick up the prize. Here! Ayui lets go off the first button. With her hands still on the button, she looks around the side of the machine. Ayui, could it be? You're a pro? I told you, I am pretty good. The human eye is sensitive to side-to-side -side movement. On the other hand, depth is hard to distinguish, that's just an undisputed fact of physics. So when you play a crane game, and you're moving the crane backwards, you look from the side, that's an ironclad rule of crane games. Aoi, let's go! Right on target! The claw opens up and slowly moves down, it grabs the stuffed animal's neck. Could it this be it? Yes! Alright! I always seemed confident of her victory. At that moment, the stuffed animal slips from the grip of the claw and falls down. What? Why? <laughs> Yorkfield, the spring in the claw is probably too weak. We should tell the staff to fix it. You can't try and turn back from the contest now. I always, it's my turn. After carefully planning out my attack, I insert the coin. Side alignment, set! Left alignment, set! The arm descends. My target is the tag on the stuffed animal. If that loop tag is grabbed, even if the claw is a little weak, it can lift the toy this way. The arm is right on target, just like I aimed and grabs the tag of the stuffed animal. Got it! And as the crane raises, it swiftly drops clear out of grasp. WHY?! Why did he fail? Impossible! Oh man, see? I told you, the arm is weak. Damn it! Okay, your turn next, Ayoi. Nani? I've had enough. There's no way I can get this. So then you don't mind if I take all the turns from here on out? From here on? You're gonna keep going? It's hey, just a little more. Just a little. Next time, I'm gonna do better. I know many people whose last words were much like yours. <laughs> Seems like Ayoi doesn't know. The crane games in my country have much cheaper prizes than in Japan, so there aren't many people who play them seriously. However, one day, just to kill time, I pumped the machine full of coins and realized something amazing. In crane games, once every 10 plays, you can see that the claw clamps tighter than usual. 
I think it's probably to make players convinced that they can win and keep trying. Now that IO is given up, that super mode will definitely come to on my turn. Victory is mine. Here goes. Crane games are basically scams. For us at least. Side alignment set. The apple alignment set. The arm descends. IO and I watch breathless. The claw grabs the stuffed animal's tag. Okay, don't fall. The stuffed animal is lifted by the claw and barely hangs on. Don't fall, don't fall. All I can do now is pray. The seconds pass at a snail's pace. The Tanaki stuffed animal falls down. The prize shoot, yes! I shot for joy. Yatta, yatta! Yoko Firido! Sugoi, sugoi! I can't believe you caught it to with that shabby, shabby kuro. Did you see Aoi? This means I win. Kimi no kachi da yo! Kachi da yo! Kachi wa kachi da yo! Ne? Yup, you win yourself. Um, you win. A win is a win, right? At some point, 7,000 yen, or about 70 US dollars, disappeared from my wallet. I kept thinking, just a bit more. And then before I realized, Japanese cranes game don't have a super mode after all. <sighs> oh well, here, Aoi, take it. I hand the Tanaki stuffed animal to Aoi. Why does she have a such a confused expression? For me? No, sorry, I can't take it. It belongs to the person who got it. No, I just wanted to challenge you at something. You didn't actually want I didn't actually want the stuffed animal in the first place. If you don't take it, I'll just throw it out. When I say that, Ayoi hurriedly hugs the stuffed animal. Thanks, Yoruka Fidudo. Yoruka Fidudo. Oh, now Ayui's eyes are shining. Look at the mouth. Look at the mouth. Her eyes are now shining just like Karin. Man, that was something. Just seeing Ayui's smile was worth the amount it cost me to get the stuffed animal. If I don't think that way, I'll never get over it. God damn it. Oh my god. $70 wasted on this. I'm getting kinda hungry. What do you want for lunch? Yes! I like ramen! There's a re really yummy Kumamoto ramen shop around here. Let's go there! As I was suggested, we visit a ramen restaurant. A delicious smell emanates... Emanates, sorry, outside the shop. Man, I can't wait for this. Oh, wait, wait, Yorkville. You have to buy a meal ticket first at the shop. As I try to sit down, Ayui grabs me by the nape of my neck. Ow. Ayui points to some kind of vending machine. The buttons have different kinds of ramen, and the price has written on them, sorry. Well, so in other words, you buy a ticket at this machine first and then hand it in when you order ramen? Do you not have meal tickets in your country, you I never saw this before. It's a pretty interesting system. I put it in my coins and tap the Kumamoto Tauromen button. A purple plastic ticket comes out of the sales slot. I sit down and hand the worker my ticket. I see, this is probably logical, they don't have to deal with calculating change, and it's hard to mistake your order. Maybe we should use this in my country too. Yorkville, you said you like Yakuza video games, right? If you met a real Yakuza, what would you do? While we wait for our ramen, Ayui asks me this, asks me this question. Hmm. Well, uh, of course, the real thing is scary. I'll run right away. Yakuza are so cool. I'll ask for his autograph. 
before labeling him as Yakuza, I want to know what kind of person he is. Before... no. Okay, let me think. Um, of course, the real thing is scary. I'll <laughs> run right away. <laughs> no way, I know that video games are just fiction. The mafia is gonna be scary. If I met the real thing, I'll run straight away. You work well, even if you have a normal reaction. Well, yeah, of course, because they're scary. While we talk, the ramen arrives. Itadakimasu! The ramen is absolutely delicious. Totemo oishi desu! Thick no noodles intertwine with the rich pork belly soup and the bittersweet taro, which is pork rib stew, sublimely melts in my mouth. There's no time to talk now. Did you like it? The best! I gotta come here again! We were talking about Yakuza's before eating ramen, okay. Oh. Oh, you probably can't see me, guys. <laughs> the screen is black, so... <laughs> yeah, the face cam is also dark, so... We hang out until the sky starts to get dark. We went to the big bookstore. We went up to the Tokyo Government Office building on the viewing platform. We took a rest in the... Shi we took a rest the Shinjuku Imperial Garden. Just walking a little bit, you can go from a shopping district to an office filled street to a giant park. Shinjuku really is a city of many faces. If I didn't have Aoi to show me around, I don't think I could have looked around efficiently. And now, the long-awaited... Greeting from Kyarabukchu. Since I'm bringing someone from another country, I thought maybe the atmosphere of the golden guy would be best. Oh! A bunch of restaurants and bars are lined up on a narrow street. Almost all of them are wooden structures that look like they have a lot of history. They say Golden Guy has lots of old buildings and still has a real Showa atmosphere. Showa? That's part of the Japanese calendar, right? So Right, the periods are counted based on the Emperor's reign. Right now it's Heisei year 26, and the period before this was Shua. I guess that's before we were born. Golden Guy really does have a nostalgic feel to it. It's totally different from the city center we were just in. It's amazing there's a neighborhood like this within just a few minutes walk. It's an area for bars, but there's lots of different stores. Sushi shops, yakitori shops, gay... Are you kidding me? Gay bars? Does that even exist? I didn't know that. Lunch bars, and for something different, there's even a maid bar! That's something I really like! <laughs> Sorry for the uh, aggressive voice, but... Wow. From all these unique places, finding one that suits your taste is the fun part of Golden Guy, is what my grandfather said. Okay, then let's go to this place right away. Oh, the, that place is members only. Unless a regular customer refers you, you can't go in. Okay, then this one. That sushi place is really expensive. It's probably a bit much for a high schooler's allowance. Okay, okay, then what about this one? They serve alcohol, well, it's still too young for that. Okay, then where should we go? Listen, I told you, it's mostly bars around here. This is the entertainment district, so there's no places for kids to hang out. Oh, damn. We're gonna wait until you're grown up, so just enjoy the atmosphere for now. 
Yeah, it's frustrating, but that's what I'm gonna do. Man, when I'm old enough, I'm definitely coming back here and getting my revenge. It's just about time for the stores of Golden Guy to get started. The signs begin to light up and I peek in some of the doors down the street as they open. I see quite a few other gaijin around here too. Huh? Aoi, over there, someone's passed out. What? In a back alley, a middle-aged man in a suit is passed out. We rush to his side. Oh, you surprised me for nothing. He's just drunk and fell asleep. Nani? I'm shocked by Aoi's words. She stares at me blankly. She looks like she doesn't understand why I'm surprised. What? But that's impossible. In my country, if you walk around outside drunk, you'd be arrested. <laughs> what? In Nihon? This is normal. Oh. I understand that cultures vary in different countries. But still, this still surprised me. Well, still, getting drunk and falling asleep on the street isn't exactly an admirable thing to do either. Aoi gives a forced laugh. <laughs> Mister, are you okay? Can you get up? What do you want? Turn foe, stupid idiot. Who do you think makes the money here? Aoi calms down the middle aged man. She puts her hand under his shoulder and supports him. I frantically put my hand on the other side. While carrying him, Aoi knocks the door on the door of a bar. What is it? We're not open yet. Oh, well, if is isn't Hay it Hazuki's little girl. Hi, ma'am. It's been a while. This guy was passed out over here. Could you let him rest a little? Don't call me that. Just send him down wherever. So is this cool foreign guy your boyfriend? No, no, he's a friend from the dorm. That's good. Sugen san would go bonkers if he was. Aoi waves to the bar lady and we part ways with her. You know her? Yeah, my family lives around here. Oh, I see. No wonder she knows so much about Shinjuku. Aoi walks down the narrow street without faltering. I've noticed many of the staff of the store see her and greet her. But when I think about it, isn't it weird for the bar workers to recognize a high school student? Just what is Aoi's deal? We finally reach the end of Golden Guy. Aoi points the figure to the other side of the crossroads. There's a reinforced concrete, concrete building with a sign out front that has kanji written, skillful calligraphy. It looks like the same symbol as the one Aoi has on her karate uniform. What's this? What's this? Hmm, <clears throat> I wonder what it is? Huh? Hold on. Don't tell me, I'm gonna guess. I know I'll get it. I got closer to Aoi as I speak. What the hell? What happened? An instant later, I've fallen to the ground. Nani? My arms held back and I'm being forced onto the ground. A petite old man has me pinned down. Mr. Foreigner, she didn't like it, so don't be so pushy now. Ow! Even if I try to get away, my shoulder is pinned down so tightly I can't move. Why is this old dude so strong? And more importantly, why is this happening to me? Grandpa, no, he's a friend. I told you in my email, he's doing a homestay at Tomoe Dormitory. Aoi, you never said he was a guy. Oh, kid, sorry for the big mix-up. When he lets go, I can move so freely, like I was never held down in the first place. He helps me get up. Okay, okay, that was strange. This guy is Aoi's grandfather? His eyes look really sharp, and the way he overtook me is no normal guy. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Yorkfield Zaisho, sir. I'm here as a transfer student. I always been a big help to me. Um, I'm very grateful. Oh, I'm not used to talking in proper polite Japanese. It's so hard. Well, well, well. What good Japanese? I'm Ayui's grandfather. Just a cheap geezer called Hazuki Sugen. I run a karate dojo in Shinjuku. Karate dojo. Ayui's family runs a karate dojo? 
Huh? Didn't I tell you that? You didn't. Not a bit. That means you're Ayu is Karate Shisho? I guess so for now. So since Ayu is my Shisho, that means you're Sogen. You're my grandmaster. The Dai Shisho. Ayu is your Shisho? Uh. Oh. Sogen san narrows his eyes. Things seem a little scary. Ayu, since when did you get qualified to teach others? What are you thinking? You're only halfway there and not an adult yet. Um, um, I'm the one who asked Ayoi to teach me karate, so please be don't, please don't be mad at her. Also, Ayoi is doing a great job of teaching me. Well, I'm still a beginner though, so she hasn't had me doing anything but basic practice so far though. If that's how it is, then I guess it's alright. The tense atmosphere relaxes. Oh, thank goodness. Your Oakfield son has gotten you off the hook. Ayoi, make sure to thank him properly. No, I didn't. You Oakfield, thanks. Man, Ayoi, that smile is no fair. Well, anyway, Daishi Show, your karate is really strong. I had no idea what you did to me. Nah, that was nothing. It's just the wisdom of the elders. The longer you live, the, lo the more techniques you pick up. Nothing more. No, no, that was really intense. I thought you were a real Yakuza. Ah, you feel sad. You should come up with the darnest things. Wow, you feel? That's amazing. You could tell that Grandpa used to be a Yakuza boss right at first, right at first sight. I owe you. Huh? Yakuza master? Formerly, yes. The real deal? The real deal for real. Oh. The real Yakuza master? Kivalo Guru's legend. That's amazing. Um? Um, um, Daishi Show, can I have your autograph? Oh, please. It really is unusual Gaijin san, isn't he? <laughs> you feel this a good guy. <laughs> huh? Nani? What is he laughing at me for? Your fail son, don't ask for something cheap like my autograph. Let's exchange email addresses. Really? Sure, I don't mind. In exchange, tell me how I was, I was doing a tromoidometry. Hey, hold on, Grandpa. What are you saying? Yorkville, don't do it, okay? Alright, alright. I got the email, email address of the Yakuza Master Daishi Show. Hold on. Sogen Sam brings his head down very low. You will feel some, my granddaughter is not worthy, so but please watch over her kindly. Wow, what a nice day. Besides getting to go see Kerabukchu like I always wanted to, I got to trade email addresses with the real Yakuza master. <laughs> Man, Yorkfield, don't send any weird emails to Grandpa. Don't worry, I'll only tell him the good stuff. No, even that, please don't. Just be normal, okay? Normal. But man, I always your grandfather is really an amazing guy. Yeah, he is. Grandpa's amazing. I'm still no match for him. There's a pause in our conversation. The two of us walk home together. Huh? What's this question? Yorkville, I have a question. Who am I? Ayui? You're Ayui. Who am I? What am I? What do I look like to you? You're my karate shishu and mom to everyone at Tomoe Dometry and part of my very important family. Your field, I love you? I will proclaim that she clings to my arm. What? Um, I love you too, Ayoe, but as family, you know? But man, you gotta stop catching me off guard like this. <laughs> she loves me. So, Ayoe, how'd it go today? You went on a date with your field, right? 
No, 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 no. I was just showing him around Shinjuku. You teased me with the other day by saying I wanted to date, I wanted to date with Yorkville, and now you're denying it about yourself? I wasn't the one who said that. Where did you two? Where did you two go today? Well, we played a crane game in an arcade. He won a tanuki stuffed animal for me. We had ramen. We went to a bookstore to look for some manga no novels. We went up to the top of the city hall building and looked out over the city hordes Okawa. We went to Shinjuku Gyoen Park to see a Japanese stall garden. That's a date. Yes, it sounds exactly like a date. Huh? So it was a date then? So how was it? Um, well... I think that Yorkville acted like a gentleman. Well, geez, you sure love to brag, Missy. I didn't mean it like that. He won a prize for you. That sounds very intimate, right, Sakura? Stop teasing me! Huh? Sakura? It's not fair. What? You two are out having fun with Yorkville san without me. Now I feel left out. Yorkville san and I were supposed to talk about somewhere I made in this weekend. I'm sorry, Sakura chan. Uh, Sakura, could it be that you're feeling a little green? Green? You mean I'm jealous? I don't think I am. Huh? Is this what jealousy feels like? Okay, sorry, I stole your first otaku friend to drag him around with me. I'm sorry too. No, I don't really mean to. You should drag him around too. He wants to go to Akihabara, doesn't he? Yes, I should. You're right. I'll ask him. Well, good luck. I'll be trying to, to, to be the perfect guide for him. Take it easy, okay? Okay, guys. Mitekute arigato. We'll see you probably in episode 10 of Tokyo School Life to maybe on a go to go on a date with Sakura, who knows? Because we went, you know, on a date with Kari and Aiwi. Now Sakura is the only one left. So maybe we'll go on a date with Sakura in the next episode. Who knows? So again, mite kutarigato. We'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, take care, and remember, life is a game with many games to choose from. Peace. Sayonara.